What up guys? Welcome to another dreary day in southeastern Wisconsin. I don't know. It's not supposed to rain. So we got that going for us. Oh, but yeah, man, here's the bike. So I know I didn't give you guys a proper walk around the last time. You really didn't get to see the bike because I was on the bike, but I figure I'd show it to you now. Um, so yeah, 2017 Yamaha Super Tenere in this desert sandstone color. Now, as far as what I've done to it so far, uh, it came with the factory Yamaha saddlebags or side bags or paneers for you guys on the other side of the pond. I don't know if you can see it in there, I also did the Yoshimura RS4 uh, slip-on. The bike was just too quiet for me. Now, I only got about 140 miles on it, so today we're just going for a ride trying to do some break-in. Um, you see I also got the GV uh, tank, I think it's a tank lock bag with my phone in there. Yeah, tank lock. So I know they all have their own little uh, like proprietary names for these tank locks, but you just pull this little lever and it pops off, so it's pretty convenient. Um, so I like that. Now I know in a lot of these other videos, like, you know, you have like a cool transition, right? You're going from, or like sitting here, and then, uh, I don't know, man. Hey, we're rolling. All right, all right. I also picked up some new gear, too. I got this uh, Icon Merc Deployed, I guess is the graphic. It's like a, I don't know, I think they called it like a snow camo, but it's dark. With the gloves, and, uh, all right, come in. Even though I went from one grandpa bike, you know, the Road King, to another grandpa bike, this adventure touring thing, I wasn't uh, ready to fully commit. So I had to have a little swag still, so I still went with the Icon jacket and gloves. But as far as today, I have no game plan. I have no idea what we're doing. I had the free day to do some riding. I gotta get some braking miles on this thing, so I figured, let's go. And like I said, as overcast as it looks, we're not supposed to get any rain, so I did bring, <laughs> now I did, there's a there's one exception to my uh, uh, grandpa suit. I did buy First Gear Katmandu pants, the like waterproof, breathable, so if I do get caught in some rain, my uh, my legs should stay dry. Uh, I figure maybe we'll go, there's a couple places out west that are like my usual spots. I might take you to, there's one barbecue joint out in uh, East Troy, dude. If you're ever out in uh, East Troy, Highway 43, oh man, it's <laughs> this barbecue joint is in a gas station. I think it's like a BP gas station. I'll tell you what, it's the best barbecue you'll eat in the state. It's delicious. Uh, another little spot that I dig, if you go, um, kind of, I actually don't know what city it's in, like LaGrange is a, I don't know if that's a town or like a township or something. They have, uh, there's this little LaGrange bike store and they have a little sandwich shop in front. You get like little deli sandwiches, they have chips, a couple coolers with, uh, you know, different drinks and it's all, uh, like I don't know, one time I was there I had this like cucumber water. It was disgusting. It was just like, imagine just sucking on a cucumber tip. That was what it tasted like, it was gross. But I was going to tell you guys, a couple other things I got for the bike too that I haven't installed yet. I have a skid plate. I got an ACD racing skid plate. The black one, it's all aluminum. It's kind of heavy, but I guess compared to other frame mounted skids for this bike, it's one of the lightest. I was just kind of surprised when I got it in the mail. I'm like, holy cow. But I think it's 11 pounds, so it's not, not too bad, but I mean, I'd rather have a little bit of weight, you know, with the protection. That's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. I also have on order, I guess they were back order, the uh, Alt Rider. Um, that's fine, Harley guy. Don't wave at me. It's cool, bro. I used to have one. But uh, I got the Alt Rider lower crash bars uh, in powder coated black. I guess they had the aluminum ones available, but I wanted to go black because I got the black side cases. And then uh, I ordered the Alt Rider upper crash bars too. So I actually have the upper crash bars already. I got them in my garage. I have the skid plate in my garage. I'm just waiting on the, uh, the lower crash bars to kind of get everything installed. I figured it probably wouldn't be too bad of an idea to wait until after the first service too. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So when I bring it back down to the Yamaha dealer um, for the first service, 
uh, like I said, I already did the exhaust, which I showed you guys, so that, that'll be on there, but I know they don't really do anything with that. Um, but I figure rather than have them tell me, well, you know, it's going to be another hour of work if we have to remove the skid plate, so I wouldn't even mess with that. I'll leave that off after I do the first service. I'll install all that. Um, let me know if you guys want me to, uh, you know, video that stuff. I know if, you, if you're on YouTube, you can kind of, there's a bunch of install videos, and I've I've like waffled back and forth on if I want to do install videos or not, but most of the stuff, like any of the Jeep stuff that I do, there's already videos out there. This stuff I found, you know, skid plate install videos, I found crash bar install videos. You know, I wasn't going to do a video on installing a tank bag. I mean, it's like three Allen bolts, but I don't know. Most of that stuff, same with the exhaust, dude. That was like two bolts, <laughs> you know, or well, it was a couple of screws to get the heat shield off and then the exhaust itself was like two bolts so I mean if you can't figure that out I don't know man I guess you could take it to a shop and pay them an hour and a half of labor to do it but I did it in about 15 minutes I had that exhaust off and on super easy and I'll tell you what too YouTube certified baby I figure if anybody else can do it I can do it too and there's gonna be a video that can coach me on YouTube so what are you guys feeling for lunch man should we hit up some barbecue or should we get a sandwich Not that you really have any say in it, right? It's still nice of me to ask though. This dude behind me is probably like, what is this guy's problem? I keep like speeding up, letting off, off the gas, speed up, letting off the gas, gear change, click, click. Just breaking in my bike, bro. I also did order um, that I have, I forgot to mention, these like super braces that I bought. Now, the guy that I found these from, I was actually on a Facebook uh, forum for the Tenere. And the group I was in, somebody posted, they just had these super braces installed. And they go from like this screw mount here, and it goes down to where there's like a couple of bolts on the side under the handlebar, where um, these like little winglets or, you know, extra wind deflectors can be installed. And uh, the dude that's selling them, it's 25 bucks shipped. I mean, dude, tell me where else you can buy a, a motorcycle part for $25 ship that's actually worth a damn, right? So these little bars, this this one here, I guess, if you have like a GPS or something going, it'll rattle. They say it's kind of one of the quirks with this bike. So I bought these super braces. I'll uh, I'll try to put up the uh, the guy's information. I just, somebody posted the info, I emailed them. I'll put it like right like here maybe. I don't know. I'm still haven't if I'm editing, I haven't figured out how the hell to move the stuff up and down. It'll be on the screen. So I'll put his email up there. I don't I don't know. Maybe I should ask him first if that's cool. <laughs> I don't know. But dude, when I got these things in the mail, I looked at them. It looks like a damn factory part. Like the, the quality, the finish on it, obviously I don't know about the fit because I haven't put them on yet. Everybody else raves about them and it completely elim eliminates eliminates completely eliminates any shaking on that bar so if you have like your cell phone mounted to it gps mounted to it no more shakes so i thought you know what for 25 bucks i'm just gonna do it that's worth it right maybe while i'm out this way i should pop into the state park too i got a couple of stickers for uh both of our jeeps but i should probably have one for the bike too if i'm gonna be going to any state parks i don't know maybe i'll look online i don't want to i don't know what the cost is going to be if it's just like another 10 bucks for an extra sticker i'll pay it but I'm not trying to pay another like 30 or 40 dollars for a sticker hey let's see if i get a wave let's see if i get a secondary wave look at these guys uh, oh the first guy is too cool the second guy wave <laughs> it was funny on the road king i'd get waves all day always on this thing dude the first day when i was taking it home i don't think i got one wave legit didn't even get a single wave i mean not that i care one way or the other but it's just funny i don't know maybe do i care i will tell you though this bike has way bigger balls than the harley and another thing another thing the modes it has a sport mode and a touring mode i didn't realize that i thought with the shaft drive you know like a lot of shaft drive bikes I don't, maybe you don't know but any shaft bike any shaft driven bike that i've ridden you get like this shaft like clunk when you hit the gas it kind of it'll wind up and then and the bike will kind of take off so in sport mode i was kind of getting that and i'm like eh, all right like it's a shaft so maybe i'll have to live with that 
and then I realized that there's two modes I put it in touring mode that like immediately went away and you can definitely tell with sport mode it's snappy you give it gas it's snappy snappy taking off from a light anything like that in touring mode you can almost bog the bike down it almost just kind of you know slowly rolls off the intersection definitely more mild so does what it uh, sets out to do you know what state parks right here maybe we will pop in real quick just to see what the cost is it get a sticker for the bike probably won't install it today install the sticker i probably won't put it on not like i have to install anything right you're just putting a sticker on so i probably won't uh, put the sticker on today only because maybe you guys have some ideas for me turn the turn signal off dude uh, maybe you guys will have some ideas for me i don't want to put it on on the windshield man i figure like those stickers you know when you try to take them off they break off into a billion little pieces any any better ideas for me here guys any better ideas Hi. hello hey what does it cost to get another i have two stickers for my vehicles my cars what does it cost to get an extra sticker for the bike Wisconsin license plate? yeah 15, okay i'm gonna i'll jump off the bike and come in you can do it right here if you want. Uh, all right well yeah that's fine is there any like requirement on where i have to put it on the bike windshield or on one of the front forks okay but you know will it leave a bunch of residue like this is plastic well, most guys will put it like some guys will put it under on the gas tank you know but that's kind of a bad spot on the yeah. license plate okay like all right like it's back here gotcha real good from the front, uh you know place it just like where he said okay, okay. cool man appreciate it <laughs> All right, well, I guess that was painless. Done. Oh, man. Like, warm out here now. Even though it's overcast, it's like the wind feels good, but it's a little uh, little humid. Maybe we'll go for a little cruise this way. This is... Uh, all right. So, maybe should I tell you guys the story of this uh, recreational park here? I've, I've read this, like, years ago, so I'm probably going to butcher whatever the details are. Now, apparently, all this property here, or this land, was going to be an Air Force base. I'll try to find out the, uh, I don't know, I don't know if it was like the 40s or 50s or something. But the story was that, I think it was like two or three days before they were supposed to start actually pouring runways for airplanes and the military and all that, they canceled the program. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, this wide open area was going to be a big, huge military base. And then they put the kibosh on that. And now it's, uh, I think it's one of the only recreation parks in the state. So I guess it's different than like a state park or a county park in that they have actual ATV trails out here. There's, um, I think they have like equestrian trails out here too. And there's an area where you can do um, like rocket launch it. Like, you know, the little, you know, hobbyist, uh, look at that horse trail, sunset campground, model rock, there you go, model rocketry. So if you're into uh, shooting little little rocket ships off into the sky, here's where you come. Ray TV and dirt bike trail parking. Let's go check this out. Oh, now if I, dude, if I had my skid plate and my crash bars, I just might partake. I just might have, but I'm not gonna stay on marked trails. Oh, it's closed. It's closed anyway, boys. Not today. Riders born after Jimmy first must possess ATV safety education for his own Helmet, ATVs, or trail pass if it's not I don't know, man. All ATV dirt bikes must have U.S. Forest Service approved spark arrester. I'll tell you what, though. It's probably not even okay to have, like, an actual motorcycle on those trails, but... I don't know. My first time on the gravel road is exciting! Never do this on the Harley. A little parking lot action, right? I don't know, man. <laughs> I used to ride sport bikes all the time. And... Whoa! <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I used to ride sport bikes all the time. Oh, hopefully that uh, translates to video there. I used to... All right, let's try this. For a third time, I used to ride sport bikes and do wheelies and all that kind of goofy stuff and uh never dude i never when i was a kid i always wanted a dirt bike forever wanted a dirt bike so bad 
parents never got me one and i've never rode dirt the one time only i rode a dirt bike i like busted my foot i thought i broke it dude i was doing a wheelie and of course on a dirt bike it's you know it's way different than on a street bike and i was riding a wheelie and it started going sideways and i was like oh i put down i put my foot down and absolutely like torched my heel i thought my foot was done so riding this pig on the gravel or dirt i'm definitely gonna have to get used to and after that little almost little whoa, i'm probably not gonna do it until i get the skid plate and crash bars on but once i have those on game on because that's why i bought it right all right so we're gonna head out of here um probably going way too fast i think the speed limit's like 25 back here i'm gonna watch out for gravel <laughs> I am in need of some petrol. Hopefully we got a gas station. Uh, hey! Ask and you shall receive. We got a gas station. Dude, that turn signal is going to be the death of me. I feel like I should not even use it. So I think I'm supposed to say 91 dead dinosaurs. Boom, 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 boom. No drips. All right. Oh, rookie mistake, guys. Battery died. So anyway, we're at the LaGrange country store to go in here and uh, grab a sandwich all right I got my sandwich chips I got two different drinks I never seen before they're like little uh, I don't know different some blue sky soda or something one of them's like a tea I don't know I'll show them to you in a minute once we get to a spot so we're going on the road a little ways um, I know there's some twisties out this way and maybe we'll find like a picnic table or a little pull-off or something like that got to turn around i saw uh, something about old world wisconsin so we're gonna we're gonna turn around and check that out welcome museum open for centuries people left old worlds for a new life in wisconsin facing unfamiliar landscapes and languages oh look at this stuff that's pretty neat Established, uh, got hard words. Establish, uh, Jesus Christ. Establishing farms and communities. Blending the old with the new. Damn, tongue twister today. Welcome to the world they created. I'm gonna blame it on these cheek pads. Welcome to Old World Wisconsin. Well, that don't look very old. That does. Yeah, it said there was like a museum or something, but this is actually neat. You can just kind of drive through. I'm assuming you get out and you just walk around some of these old houses and stuff, maybe. Get hangry. Look at this picnic table for me. Since nobody's out here, uh, I'm just going to take this spot right here. All right, guys, we got our picnic table. I'm gonna sit here and uh, drink one of these sodas. I don't know which one yet. We got a blue sky, lemon lime, never heard of that. And then this uh, Yachak Organic Yerba Mate Berry Blue. Um, I think it's like a tea or something maybe. I don't know, hopefully there's no alcohol in it, right? Just kidding. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna eat the sandwich, uh, jump back on the bike and head home. It's been real. 